slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. present in two with my bare hands don't fuck with this senator what the hell are you <laughs> why don't you stick around and find out Doesn't seem that way, does it? This is bad. I cannot get a read on his fighting skills. Be careful. Wait for him to make a move. Oh, but he doesn't. I... Damn! What the hell is that guy on? He sent you flying with one punch. There's no way he's 100% human. If you've got any more intel on him, Kev, now would be a good time to share it. The only stuff in his file even slightly related is his background in college football and the Navy. Nothing here to suggest any kind of cyborg augmentation, but his body has to have been modified somehow. That much, I guessed. Damn! What the hell is that guy? He's... If you... Deal. Nothing but his... That... That strength is simply astounding. He is at least your match, if not more. You appear to have a speed advantage, but even a single blow from him could prove fatal. What the hell is he, Doc? Cyborg? I cannot say. I assume it would be impossible for a politician to conceal enhancements from the public. And as far as I can see from here, he does not appear to be a cyborg. So, what then? Some kind of new technology, perhaps? It is certainly nothing I am familiar with. Patriot censorship is gone, but I'm still not privy to everything. Classified data research, for example. In any case, against such force, I should think that parrying is the best you can hope for. However, this could make counter-attacking even more difficult. For now, all you can do is fend him off. Do not venture too close. Watch for him to act. Damn it. That strength is simply astounding. You appear to have a speed advantage. What the- uh, And- So- Stop hate in any- for Damn it. Are you alright, Raiden? More or less. What is with this guy? I don't know. I mean, he's a senator, right? I could understand if he was piloting Metal Gear, but a normal human being able to send you flying like that? It's inconceivable. Yeah, unless that body's more than human. Whew. I don't like this one bit. If I knew it was going to be like this, I would have never helped you get to Pakistan. Don't worry. Just means this will be a little more of a workout. I'll be back soon, with souvenirs. Right in. Are you all right, Raiden? More or less. I don't... I can't put in... Yeah, if I don't... Run... Raiden, are you all right? Yeah, a little shaken up, but I'm okay. <sighs> this is not going to be easy. Raiden, you've got to make it back, okay? Promise me. Sure, Courtney. But for now... You got it. 
You're good to go. Thanks. Later. I can just run. Just one fish. Capital and votes. Wanna know why? I have a dream. What? That one day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual. Not the other way around. Ugh. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Where every man is free to think, to act for himself! Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America's diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. <coughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! <coughs> and from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! <laughs> so I can end 
war is a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe. Not for money, not for oil, not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! What do you think? Oh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. Shit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight, and steal, and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours. Trauma. You can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this.
We're about done here. Riley. Wolf. Begin playback. <laughs> Two years I've been working towards this. And on the last day, Blondie has me doubting the whole thing. We'll leave it up to fate then, shall we, Wolfie? A duel to the death. May the best man win. Sam. I cut him down, and that's that. Back to a regularly scheduled international incident. But if he beats me, if I die here, the lock on my blade will disable after a couple hours. What happens after that is up to you, Wolfie. Huh. Even dead, that guy's a pain in my ass. So... You think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good point. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck. <laughs> Anti-shock nanomachines? This man is unbelievable. But perhaps you can hurt him with that blade. <sighs> that Sam really was a piece of work. Reinforced anti-shock na- But <sighs> cut him, Raiden. It's the only option. Cut him, Raiden. It's the only. Very interesting. Perhaps with that sword you could land a blow or two. Running high-frequency waves through a blade serves to enhance its cutting power. But it cannot completely alter the weapon's original properties, you know. In other words, the higher the original quality of a sword, the more formidable an HF blade it makes. Very interesting. Running enough... Right, then. Kill him. Right, then. Kill Ryan! Are you all right? Why does this kind of thing always happen to you? You've been a victim of war ever since you were a kid. It's not right. Not just me, Sonny. It's you too. Millions of victims all over the world. It's easy to blame it all on guys like Armstrong. But it's more than that. It's everyone's fault. 
anyone who goes through life blindly following others, following orders, never questioning what they're told, that's got to change. I'm not sure how, but killing this guy seems like a good first step. We rescued America from the Patriots. I won't let Armstrong make it a wasteland. Raiden! Come on, Sonny. Don't worry. Let me see a smile. Raiden! Are you all... Why does this kind... Not... It's any... That's we... Right. Ra Come on. Raiden, there's no other way. I understand that now. You... You've got to stop him. You've got to kill him. You have to, Raiden. You have to kill him. Are you sure? Just send me a... Raiden, you... You... Are you sure? Just...